Yeah, so we had a session on this uh, new generation immunotherapies, CAR T cells and bispecific antibodies, and we discussed the optimal uh, sequence. Well, we probably don't know which one is the optimal sequence, but we have interesting data to, to discuss this sequence of immunotherapy. The first thing is that it's, it's becoming more and more important in clinical practice because we now have access uh, to different uh, immunotherapies uh, with approval or early access program in different CAR T cells and bispecific antibodies. And different targets as well. Um, so the first thing we, we discuss is the mechanism of efficacy and, and resistance of those uh, agents uh, with the loss of antigen first. Uh, we know that it's not very frequent with BCMA, but there are some reports of biallelic loss of uh, BCMA. With GPRC5D, we have some information on the uh, CAR T cells targeting GPRC5D. Um, and in this uh, uh, clinical trials, just few patients, but they observed two thirds of the patients who lost the expression of GPRC5D uh, after exposure to the CAR T cell and Natrilab. So means that probably there is more loss of GPRC5D than we see loss of uh, BCMA. Second point is the T cell exhaustion. Of course, the, the T cell fitness matter for those uh, immunotherapies. We know basically that the a higher proportion of memory phenotype T cells and the lower uh, proportion of exhausted T cells is a favorable uh, situation for uh, both CAR T cells and bispecific antibodies. Some data that we start to have is perhaps the continuous uh, administration of bispecific antibodies can induce some exhaustion of the T cells. Uh, so this is important when we uh, consider sequencing those immunotherapies. Um, and then now we have some clinical evidence. So basically, to, to, to summarize uh, the clinical evidence we have from uh, Majestec 1 with teclistamab, from Monumental 1 with talquetamab, is that by specific antibodies after uh, CAR T cells, for example, or ADC works well. Um, in the talquetamab uh, Monumental 1 uh, clinical trial, they had some patients coming off by specific antibody receiving talquetamab and it seems that the uh, efficacy is lower. So perhaps sequencing of bispecific after bispecific will need some washout time, for example. Uh, and at the opposite, the um, sequencing of CAR T cells after uh, ADC or bispecific antibody here we, it seems that the, the, it does affect the efficacy a little bit more. So today what we understand of the sequencing of those immunotherapies is that probably giving CAR T cell first uh, would be a better uh, option and then going to buy specific antibodies. Of course, there are a lot of questions and it's only uh, you know, a small uh, amount of data that we have, so we need to study this more. Um, but the washout time will be something probably important. And I think the message is that we need to develop tools, uh, simple tools uh, to assess the T cell function in clinical practice uh, easily that will drive actually the decision of this uh, sequencing of immunotherapies.